everybody, Massachusetts Prepper here with you today. Today we're going to be making up some little apple snacks or apple chips in the dehydrator. So we thought we would share this process with you. We got a little Maxim apple peeler core slicer. Does a pretty good job as long as you get your apples set on there pretty centered. It does okay. If you don't get them centered, well, then you do end up with a little bit of a problem. Um, for the most part, this thing works real good though. Getting it adjusted is the biggest thing. And as you can see, it takes it right down, just leaves this last little bit on there. Pull in your cutting board, cut them in half, and you have nice little apple slices. As I said, does a pretty good job. Brings them down to just about the right thickness for the dehydrator. Works real well. These will dry out really nice. Now what I do is I get a little bit of water with a, about a tablespoon of lemon juice in it and I just drop these slices separated into this lemon juice. Um, these ones with the peelings on them. Nice little snack for while you're doing this. your core, all your seeds intact. If you want to try to plant some seeds, <laughs> grab some seeds and there you go. But get these in, in that lemon juice, you know, that, that water with the lemon juice relatively quickly. Um, that way you don't end up with, you know, some apple slices that are all brown and yucky looking. And if you're so inclined, Eat the ones with the peels. I do. But anyway, we're going to do one more apple for you here. Just to show you one more time how easy this is and how well it works. I do pull my stem out. You don't have to. I do it just to make it a little bit easier to get this centered. Just make sure your apples pushed all the way on there, lined it out, get it started. And sometimes you have to hold this blade so it really gets started in on that core. Once it does, just a few turns with the handle you've got a cord somewhat peeled apple um, every now and then you know you will get a seed if the core is not perfectly centered you'll get the remnants of a seed in there uh, you can just take a knife and pull those out get them separated and you're good to go And if you wanted to throw them ones with the peelings in there, they may take just a little bit longer to uh, dehydrate, but for the most part, it won't be a big deal. Okay, everybody. So I'm going to get these finished up, and then I'll be right back once I have them all uh, ready to go on the trays, so we're not going to keep you here for all that, but we'll bring you right back Okay, everybody. Well, we brought y'all back. We now have this entire bowl filled with sliced cord apples that we're gonna 
put on these trays now. <clears throat> We're going to get these all set to go in the Excalibur 3900 dehydrator. So now, like I said, we had taken all these apples and we put them in this water with a little bit of lemon juice to keep them from turning brown on us. Um, if you don't do this, they're going to turn brown, but even if they turn brown, they're going to taste just fine. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to start layering these on our tray so we can get these ready for dehydrating. Now some people like to take and uh, you know, dab them off a little bit on a paper towel or whatever um, just to get some of the extra moisture out of these. I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to kind of shake them off and place them right on here. Now apple chips, they probably won't stay around your house too awful long when you do them because they are quite tasty. As you can see, I'm not stacking these like on top of each other super tight or anything like that. Just layering them in here so they're not touching. And that way the drying time won't be near as long. Of course, these tend to dry out pretty quick anyway. So I'm going to just layer them on there right about like that. Uh, I'm going to finish these up and I'll bring you all back when we got everything done. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper back at you. Um, we got all these apples done up. This was a whole bag of apples. And as you can see, we got a few trays of apple slices done here. Now that Maxim apple peeler slicer core my daughter said she didn't really like it because she was having trouble with it. And she actually threw it in the garbage. I dug it out of the garbage, or my wife dug it out of the garbage. And we cleaned it up and decided that we would try to adjust it. And as you can see, all the apple slices were pretty uniform. Um, it, it did a pretty good job. Uh, as you can see, the, the slices are, you know, about a oh, uh, not quite a quarter inch thick, but um, they're all uniform and they'll dry real nice. So, as you can see though, we did run out of apples. The one bag of apples only gave us like uh, a little over like four and a half trays. So, we took and did up some banana slices uh, to round this out and get it done. Now, we're going to get this all set up and get it going. And once they're all dehydrated, we'll bring y'all back and let you see the finished product. Hey everybody, Massachusetts Prepper back here. Uh, I believe that all this stuff in the dehydrator should be done now. Now, these apple pieces can break them. They bend and then crack. That's just about the right consistency. banana chips they look like they're pretty well done too thicker ones a little bit of a snap to them so they are definitely done <clears throat> okay so we're gonna take and get this stuff pulled off here and uh, get it all put into a bowl and, and then get ready to vacuum seal everything so we will bring y'all back once we get everything off the trays here and show you what we got going on. Okay guys, I'll bring you back and give you an example of what to do and what not to do. Now, as you can see, we have two very different colored banana chips here. Uh, these here 
that you can see are sliding around really easily on the uh, the mesh sheet here or some that I did now we we soak these in a little bit of lemon water just to keep them from turning brown or getting really super dark I should say and what happened was I was taking these out of the water draining the water through my hands and then placing these on the sheets well my wife got called into work she was helping me so Mrs. Massachusetts Prepper decided to try to hurry up and get things done so she just grabbed a handful out of the water and threw them right down on the sheet and then started spreading them out now all the ones that she did that way turned really super brown and they are just like stuck to these screens really really bad so this is a good example of what to do and what not to do if you want a better looking banana chip you want to take a little bit of time drain the water lay them out individually if you want a darker chip and want to get done quicker just grab a handful out of water throw them on the sheet real quick and spread them out with all the stickiness of the water um, from the stickiness in the banana and this is what you'll end up with is a banana chip that is stuck pretty good here and really super dark so they still taste good but they're just not quite as appealing when you're looking at them so anyway that's just a little short thing of what to do and what not to do we're all set up now to, to bag up a few of these apple and banana chips uh, eventually what we're going to do is we're going to make a trail mix out of these adding some peach slices and maybe some uh, tropical fruit and stuff like that but for right now I'm just going to bag up a, a couple of these uh, to make a couple of food storage bags and then uh, the rest of it I'm going to stick in some quart canning jars vacuum seal those and then when we're ready to make the trail mix bags we'll just take them out of the jars and do it that way so what I'm going to do is take like a half cup of the bananas and put in the bag because remember this is dehydrated so that half cup once it's rehydrated is going to be a lot more now this stuff can be used in like banana pudding you can rehydrate these uh, make banana pudding out of them the apple chips can go in apple cobbler uh, apple pie um, apple fritters whatever you wanted to make with it rehydrate it and use it just like you, you normally would but they also make nice little snacks as well so I'm gonna put a half a cup in the bag seal my bag part way on both ends leaving just the center if you can see that just the center of the bag left open and that way when I seal it up in my vacuum seal bag I can close that bag from inside the vacuum seal bag. Everything will get sucked out of that bag as well as the Ziploc bag. And then I kind of get like a, a double closure. So we're just going to seal up one end of this bag and then we're going to take our Ziploc sandwich bag and you can use any size bags you want for this <clears throat> it'll all work just make sure your Ziploc bag is down below where your seal is going to be so when you stick this in here and seal it you don't seal on top of that bag because if you do you will have a leaky seal By putting that sandwich bag in there and you keep it, your product from poking a hole through your um, your vacuum sealed bag. Now I just take and finish closing off that bag in there and I have a, a bag that is nicely sealed. The sandwich bag is now sealed. I sealed that as well and we kind of got double protection. Works pretty good. As always, leave these on your counter for about an hour to see if they do develop any leaks. And if not, put them in your food storage, in your bag, your bug out bag or get home bag. Um, if your, your kids like these for snacks, lunch, you know, for school, whatever, uh, and you're ready to go.
quart jar of both apple slices and banana slices. Ended up with three bags left over to go into our food storage of the apple slices and five bags of the banana chips. So, out of one bag of apples and one bunch of bananas, we ended up with um, this small amount of stuff to go into our food storage. Um, these will be used, like I said, to go into um, trail mixes and, uh, you know, this could be even used if you're going to use this to make apple pies, turnovers, apple crisp, whatever, rehydrate these. Um, you know, myself, I generally stick it in the refrigerator uh, in some water overnight, let them rehydrate really well, and, and then use those. Uh, same way with the banana chips. And as I said, as you can see, we have some darker colored banana chips in there. And that was from Mrs. Massachusetts Prepper, just reaching in, grabbing a handful, and slopping it onto the tray, and then spraying it out with all that juice still on the banana slices. Um, if you take and you know strain them out, let some of the juice come off them, and then place them, you end up with a nicer color banana chips. Those again, they taste just fine. May not be quite as appealing in the looks department, but overall. You rehydrate those, put them in banana pudding or whatever, um, or just as a snack, they taste just fine. So anyway, everyone, this is another episode of Dehydrating with Massachusetts Prepper. Till next time, y'all take care.